Alamo Gordo, New Mexico. An officer has been dispatched to the local Dollar Tree for a report of an assault. Witnesses reported seeing an elderly man assault another customer with a shopping cart before leaving the store. As a result of impeccable investigative skills and sound police work, officers were able to locate the suspect's address Closer. and quickly identified the man. So, the man in this car, he came in and he was being real like rude yeah. and stuff, but I, didn't, I wasn't really paying attention. And then when I looked up because he was being real loud and rude, I, I seen him pushing his cart through a customer. Pretty sure she's still in here. And she kind of like caught her off guard and she like stumbled to the side and like pushed him away. And um, he was being real loud and, and verbally abusive. And then, any chance we can find the. Yeah, let me good Can you tell me what, what happened with the, the elderly gentleman that was with the shopping cart? Yes, I walked in and um, I said hi to Tanya. And I said, oh, you know, um, it's taco night tonight. And she said, um, oh, we're going to go see the movie today. And then she was still scanning okay. she, and she was helping the customer. Okay. And I said, oh, I said, no, because she misunderstood me. She was talking about the movies and I was talking about taco night. Okay. And then the gentleman proceeded, to, we were still conversating and the gentleman proceeded to say, do you, um, no, he said, can you help me? Like that, and I think that's what he said. It's, and then um, talking to the talking cashier, to okay. Tanya. Okay. And then uh, I said, she's multitask. You know, I thought I'm gonna interrupt because you know, as a cashier, you can't really say anything. So then I said, she's multitasking. She's helping you, sir. And then he goes, no, she's not. And he pushed the card into me. And then I went like this to like push him back from me. Okay. All right. Can you tell me what he was wearing or anything like that? Yeah, he was wearing a black jacket full of cat hair. 217 to the officer's bubble. I was told that uh, this is, in fact, the same subject who did pretty much the same thing a few months ago at the other Dollar Tree, and he does live at the address on his registration. Yes, can I help you? Hi, I'm Officer Bunker with the Alamogordo Police Excuse Department. Excuse me, I can't hear you. What? I'm Officer Bunker with the Alamogordo Police Department. Are you the owner of this car here? I am. Okay, were you just at the Dollar Tree? No, it wasn't me. So who was in your car at the Dollar Tree? I have no idea. Okay, do you have an ID on you? I do, and I'm not going to give it to you. I got a bunch of stuff and I was happy to finish the transaction, but they were busy being assholes. So that's okay. why I told them they were. Okay, Mr. Hand, you're being trespassed from all of the Dollar General stores well, what is the real and the Dollar Tree stores. It means, you, it means you cannot go back to those properties. So which, which properties? Any of the Dollar Trees or Dollar General stores in Alamogordo. You cannot go to any of those stores. I'm very happy to avoid them. Okay, all right. Um, can I get a phone number for you, sir? Why would, it, I, why would you want it and why should I give it to you? I, I can't demand that you do. I'm just asking if you'd be willing to give me your, your phone number. I'm really upset by this whole process because all I was doing was trying to buy some stuff. That was all I was doing. I understand. And here I end up with... I would think that Alma... See, we, we're here at a four-way stop. And there are all kinds of cars and motorcycles that come here and growl away at 60 miles an hour. I would think that there were other things that needed your attention here down the I understand that, sir. Are you willing to give me your phone number or no? I, I have, I'm upset, okay? I, I understand. So I don't want to do anything more just because why should I? I'm the one that's, in my eyes, I'm the one that's being abused here. Okay, all right. Well, here's what's going to happen, sir. I'm going to give you a non-traffic citation for battery, okay, for you shoving your cart into the lady Are at the store. Are you kidding me? Absolutely not. I'm not kidding. I don't joke, well, okay? Well, then, then especially, mm. why would I want to give you my Okay, well, just, uh, I'm going to give you a citation here in just a minute, and you're going to have to appear in court for it, okay? Okay? So I'll be right back. Let me get your citation but, for you. Okay, let, let, come back here, please. What do you need, sir? That I'm going to get your citation here in just would, a second. That would be very nice. And what I want to do is I want to tell you that this is totally unfair. This okay. is totally ridiculous. Okay. Uh, and there were three clerks there, so you know they're going to tell the same story. Okay. Even though the one that claimed that I did something wrong couldn't see that I didn't do anything wrong because okay. he was uh, back in the stacks. Okay. So here I get three police and... Uh, 
I will come with you to get the citation, but this is totally... Well, you're, you're, you're welcome you're, to wait you're, on you're, your... You're doing the wrong thing. I don't want to wait. I want it done. Okay, well, I have to go type it out in my car and oh. then bring it to you. So, I'll, well, I'll, if you want to... I, I will come to your car, wait till you type it out, and then take it. Um, is this your husband? Yes. Yes, okay. So, um, there was an incident, basically, at a Dollar Tree. Um, to where it, I guess he he shoved a shopping cart into someone. No, 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 no! We got to pass with my wife. Are you kidding? Me? Um, it's just a citation for him to show up in court. That's all that it is. Okay. Yes. You're a sir. very kind person, very nice person. Would you please come away from my wife? I don't need my wife to be upset on top of all this. No, no, no. He is. He is. My wife. Nobody's God. hassling your wife. You can wait at the How front of the terrible. car. One terrible police department. You can stand right here at the front of the car. And you can go jump in the river. Well, I don't think we have one of those around here. Oh, sweetie. Please don't harm him. No, no, no he's not being he's, he's not being harmed. He's basically just receiving a paper mm -hmm. citation that on a certain date and time he has to show up to on court. You know, City Hall, you know where that's at, where you pay your water bill? Yes, yes. All you're doing is harassing an innocent citizen. And I'm going to complain about you guys because you don't have sense enough to take mm. care of the ones that are doing the problem, which is the store people. Our supervisor is Lieutenant McCauley. I if don't you would like to speak with him, I you can call the police hear department. It. I don't want to hear it. He's going to type something and probably have his name on it. Sure. If you can just make sure that he can show up on that date and time I to will. court, that's all. That's I all. Will, and and then and then we'll be out of your hair. Uh -huh. Why yes, are you still talking to my wife? I was just explaining please. to her what's going on. Please, I don't want you to explain to her. Sweetheart. She's very sensitive. I am, but, but I am your I, wife. I, lo I love you. Please go in the house. No, I will not. As soon as I go in the house, I'm going to call the police department and complain. Okay. Do you need that phone number, sir? I will get it. Thank you. I okay. don't need any more help from you folks. Okay. Are you still fooling around? Sir, if you quit interrupting him, then maybe he'd be able to finish Are faster. you kidding? I haven't interrupted him even once. He's still busy typing while I was talking to him for a half a second. Honestly, I cannot believe that you folks don't give a damn what, how much noise people make with their cars and motorcycles. We can put in a request for some extra patrol through here if you'd like. I don't want anything to do with them. Okay, so like I said, sir, citation is for battery, and, and, and you'll have the right to argue your case in court for municipal court here in town, okay? Yeah, but I got three employees who are going to tell the same story as the guy who couldn't see what was going on in the first place. So I'm going to obviously end up w w being found guilty of this okay. when I didn't do it. Okay. And thanks to you, for, three of you, for God's sake. Okay. All right. So by you signing this, you're not admitting guilt. You're just promising to appear in court. Okay. And I gave you two weeks from today's date. I gave you till March 14th at nine o'clock in the morning. I, I don't give a damn. Okay. Do you know where municipal court is? Uh, he's going to go. Okay. No, sweetie, please. Go in the house. Please. No, baby. Do you know where municipal court is, sir? No, I don't. Have okay. Do you know where city hall is, where you pay yes. a water bill? Yes. I know where it pays you. It, it's what, it's in the that? same building, okay. okay? All right, so I need your signature in that box right there, okay? And I hate signing this. I hate signing this. I, it, if if she to... wasn't here, I'd say take me to jail. Okay. I would refuse no. to sign. Okay. Please. Mm. Thank you so now, much. Now, let me ask you a question that is useful. Your answer may be useful, and that is, can I go to court right now and take this to somebody at court right now and get this dealt with? Um, it, well, first of all, they're about to go to lunch in five minutes. Okay. After lunch, they may allow that. I don't know. They typically do arraignment hearings at 9 o'clock in the morning during during court dates, which is Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. Thank okay. you. See, that's very helpful to me. Okay. And I do appreciate you have done one good thing. Okay. Uh, just so you're aware, he was cited for battery. Um, and he's also been trespassed from not just this door, but yeah, all the Dollar Trees and Dollar Generals in Alamogordo, okay? Okay, yeah, because he, he's rude every time he comes in. Yep. He always says something to me. I just try to push it away.